this is the next project. This is a little kid's pic picnic bench. Um, it's two feet wide by, I believe it's 32 inches. Let me get the tape measure. How's the tape measure? Yeah, so two feet by 32. Just miter cuts, regular two by fours that we're gonna paint, and then for the uh, the legs, that's a 25 degree angle, obviously top and bottom. Um, from long to short, it is 30 inches. Yep, 30 inches. Again, 25 degree angle. Those are four of them. I used three and a half inch carriage bolts, uh, galvanized hardware. Obviously, it's going to be outside, so you don't want it to rust. Um, for the support, uh, long to long is 52 and a quarter. Again, I just put a 25 degree on that as well. You don't have to, you can leave it straight. Um, and I just nailed that in. Um, what else? The center support is, I think it's 30, yeah, 35 and a half. And then the height off the ground, I made 14 inches. So you got plenty of room on here. This is 10 inches. For uh, what I'm using is two lengths of five quarter, two two five quarter boards, and I'm doing five quarter on here as well. Um, it winds up being see, this is for the top, and I'm making these 36. Um, I wanted to make it wider because with the the legs, they're 35 inch, so I'm only going to be sticking over like a half inch. But I, this is all I had, and I wasn't going to go out and buy more. I was basically using what I had at the house. So I'd make it 37 just to stick over an inch on either side. And then the board in the middle, you have to rip down to three and three quarter. Um, and now this is for my little niece. So I'm actually taking uh, stencils. Um, these are, you can get these online. Um, called black and white clip art and obviously this is uh this is from paw patrol <laughs> this is everest i'm also doing you know sophia elsa chase you know all her favorite cartoons and i'm going to be taking um where is it a drum kit carving and grading engraving rather and i have this extension and basically you just trace the lines with a little bit you know for the small for the fine lines and then the bigger guy for the thicker lines after you carve it all out you just uh sand it down and you're ready to go um i'm gonna be painting it like all different colors she likes red green pink so i'm gonna be Carving this out, painting it, and then just going in with a with a fine brush with some black paint. It's just going to be outline. I'm not going to go crazy with the with the colors. I'm not an artist, so I'll do that, and I'll uh, I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done. Now, oh, one more thing. I went in six inches from the edge for each one of these legs. It's, each one of these is six inches from the edge. There it is. The boards are not nailed down right now, but I figured I'd wait for the paint to dry and show you what it looks like. I think it came out really good, and I'm pretty sure she's going to freaking love it. 
Um, I tried my hand with the with the whole stencil thing and cutting out the uh, the stent the uh, lines on the the clip art and I don't know. I mean, you can see it a little bit, but uh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to try something different. Maybe paint it and then cut it out and then just shoot some polyurethane over it so the wood doesn't rot. But uh, I think I make this stencil bigger. It might be easier to cut it out. But I don't know. Or I can just get stencils. I have a buddy with a plasma table that can uh, cut out stencils for me. And I'll just spray paint the little guys on there somewhere, you know, sporadically on the table, on the seat. But, uh, you know, the sky's the limit. You guys can do whatever you want with it. You know, different colors, obviously, or just leave it natural. Um, yeah, so I hope you like it. Have fun. Like, share, and subscribe, please.